morning and welcome to Caravan Escapades on this bright and sunny Sunday morning. Um, it's quite early, it's about quarter to eight in the morning um, and we've decided to have a day out. Um, and where are we heading? <laughs> we're heading, don't laugh Claire, I know the excitement, <laughs> the excitement. Um, we're heading to the motorhome and camper show in on Peterborough Showground. Um, we booked some tickets last minute yesterday. Um, thought we'd kind of give it a go. It will be the first show we've been to in a long, long time. Um, open air, weather's beautiful. Um, we are on the lookout for um, at least probably some new camping chairs. So we thought it might be a good spot to go around and have a look at the traders. We're not in the market for a motorhome or a camper van. We're quite happy with the caravan. Oh, and we're taking a trolley as well with a sort of pull along um, event trolley festival trolley so Darcy may can ride around in that um, so that's us we'll get the cameras out when we get there um, for those of you interested I'm recording this on the new Insta um, 360 go to um, just mounted sideways on a vent mount in the car so we shall see you all very very soon and uh, take care bye bye So here we are, we've just arrived at Peterborough Showground. We're getting set up and ready um, to start walking in and take a look around. So we'll be back with you shortly. So the show's only been open for approximately 10, 15 minutes. We're just walking up to the entrance now, but it's already, as you can see, um, quite busy. Um, I think it started on Friday, um, is on till um, Sunday, at least today. So this is probably the last show. So surprisingly, very very busy um, I guess it's the first big show since the opening or the evening of lockdown restrictions um, so we'll uh, we'll see you again shortly thank you so here we are inside the show um, there are quite a few motorhomes camper vans we've been in for about sort of 10 15 minutes um, as you can see uh, quite a lot going on various different stalls accessories that sort of thing so there's quite a bit and we'll come back to you shortly. So walking along we've just come by this stand that's selling the Dometic stuff uh, and we've noticed these um, green care tabs on the power care tabs. There's the power care, there's the green care. Um, we've not used these before, traditionally we've just used blue in the waste tank so we thought we'd give them a go. Um, the show offer today, £20 um, for two tubs, 16 uses in each tub. Um, so we'll see how we get on. So we bought the green care tabs, we bought two tubs of those um, and we'll give that a go. So once we start using those we'll feed back to you and let you know how we get on. Also just on the same stand I noticed they've got the 4G Wi-Fi antennas. Now um, the 4G Smart which you see here is the one that we've had fitted to our caravan already and you've probably seen uh, that featured in our vlog trip to the dealers um, but I will be bringing you a separate vlog on that antenna so we're over here at the glam outdoor leisure stand um, we did specifically come to the show today to look for um, certainly some new camping chairs um, and we've basically bought some we have bought some of the Cresto Tech Supreme uh, these are the chairs here um, that's what they're like, very, very comfortable. The problem we were having was we were finding that the chairs that we had uh, weren't fitting probably underneath the table, they were too low. Um, so we've been having a look around. These quality wise, we really like them, really comfortable, uh, a little bit higher, uh, that sort of stuff. So we bought four of these. Um, they also come in that material um, and the gray material there. So, and we bought the footstools as well. So you can see the footstools here. Um, the footstools act as a normal stool or a footstool. So they sort of fit there like that. So that kind of works quite well. So we like those. Um, and this is a setup. So we bought the chairs and the footstools. This is over at Glam Leisure. I'll take a photo of their things. Um, I'll put a link to their website and the chairs over there but also if you follow me over here so what we've also purchased is these two of these chairs here um, will we take these ones caravanning with us not quite sure um, we saw these sat in these like these um, probably use these just for uh, home um, but these are nice 
so the reclining these fold away quite nicely so these are nice reclining relaxing chairs um, they have a bag a carry bag in the back that sort of stuff so that's us that's what we bought here today um, so we spent a little bit of money but I will put links both to the chairs and to Glam Leisure on their website below but let's just go over just so you know who these guys are and you can link back to them um, so yeah Glam Outdoor Leisure I'll put links to what we bought and to their website check them out and we'll see you soon thanks to the guys at Glam Leisure so just one small note, I don't know whether it's the Peterborough Showground specific, although it shows in the show guide that there are cash points, uh, there isn't any cash points on site, there are no cash points on site, so if you do come and you want to pay cash or you want to come to one of these shows at Peterborough Showground, um, I would bring cash because there are some of the store holders uh, aren't accepting cards, they're only accepting cash payments. It says, yeah, as Claire said, it's also contradicting, although it shows cash point on here, um, in the back of it we've just discovered it says no cash points available. So uh, yeah, if you don't want to use cash while you're here, um, make sure you bring it with you. So it's just gone 12 o'clock, it's lunchtime now, um, show is quite busy now if you can see. Um, we haven't really been looking around the motorhomes or camper vans, we've just been looking at the sort of accessories, uh, those sorts of things. There's a few accessory stalls here, the sort of typical ones that you'd normally see at the shows, that sort of thing. Um, but if you are in the market for a motorhome or a camper van, there's certainly a vast wide um, amount of units for you to choose on both new and second hand. So again just showing you this is probably the area with all the stalls um, traders that sort of stuff so there's a few about a um, few this way that sort of thing so a few mini campers there so I think we've probably nearly done for the day um, again we only really come to look at accessories we bought a few little bits a um, couple of extra bits we bought um, I bought this brush here um, for cleaning underneath the solar panel I found that I had algae, that sort of stuff building up underneath the solar panel so I thought that'd be quite good um, a thinner one for cleaning out the um, pipes um, and just a normal sort of bottom brush so what we've done is we've ended up buying the chairs um, table, a um, couple of brushes. We were on the lookout for um, what else? We on the lookout for? Oh, we were on the lookout for a picnic mat or a picnic um, blanket, that sort of thing. Um, and I oh, want a dinner set. We were looking for a new sort of dinner set, plates, um, bowls, cups, mugs. Um, but we haven't really seen anything we've liked here, and there hasn't been a great deal here. Um, but we've got the chairs. We're quite pleased with the chairs. Um, but yeah, so we'll uh, we'll touch base just again before we leave. Just to add, we've just come back to Glam Outdoor Leisure to pick up our chairs and we've probably spotted and taken a look at these picnic chill mats um, Biocamp. They are reversible, they come in different colours. Um, so we've decided to add one of those to our collection as well. So again, we'll do a review on the vlog on that at a later date. Yep, so we're done, we're on our way out, we've had, um, yeah, not a bad day, the weather's been great here at the Motorhome and Campervan Show, um, down at the Peterborough Showground, um, showing you there, not a bad show considering these shows are starting to get back underway and that sort of thing, um, the usual bits, but we weren't, um, certainly weren't looking at the motorhomes uh, or the campervans, we just really come for the accessories and we achieved one of our tasks in buying a, a new set of outdoor furniture um, plus a couple of other bits and bobs so yeah we're just on our way out now um, and we'll finish off the vlog shortly so we're all loaded up just after um, the show so yeah let me show you there's everything loaded up so there's our chairs and various other bits and bobs we took the um, trolley with us um, that we use in the south of France which is useful for Darcy May to sit in and travel around in but everything's there in the back of the uh, back of the car. I got a worm and a badge. And Darcy May said she got a worm and a badge. It was a knitted worm by the way not a real worm.
So that's us finished at the motorhome and camper van show over here at the East of England showground at Peterborough. Um, yeah, we've not had a, a bad day. Um, we've bought some furniture, outside furniture, and a couple of the bits and bobs. Um, certainly been a hot day. I got a um, new what was that, Darcy May? You've got? got a new bottle. Darcy May's got a new bottle. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not been a bad show. Uh, it's nice to get out to um, certainly one of the outdoor shows. Um, certainly for us, the first time since February 2020. Um, but that's it. We're just about to head home. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you wouldn't mind, certainly subscribing, liking, um, and share. Uh, leave some comments below. Uh, be good to know what you think. Uh, and just a reminder, this one has been filmed on the Insta360 Go 2. Um, I know I reviewed that on an earlier vlog, um, but basically everything this time has been done on that camera. Um, so I hope you've liked it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.